guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am hs raj and you are watching code freaks in this video i am going to show the ipa 15 more question which was asked in the previous year ipa exam so let's begin with it so here i am going to solve a new task that find the largest word in a string so this uh, question is are actually very important so you people may think that it is very easy so this is very easy but this is uh, very important for your ipa exam so let's try to, let's go into it so here i am uh, giving a particular input as a word like hey uh, hey hello you are having any trouble okay so this is my input word okay so here let me calculate the length of uh, each word okay so here the hey is having the length 3 and hello is having the length 5 you is having the length 3 r is having the length 3 having is having the length 6 any is having the length 3 and uh, trouble is having the length 7 okay so here we are asked to find the largest word in a string so here among these the largest word that means the word which is having the largest length is trouble okay because it is having the length 7 so among them uh, all are less than 7 right so here among them the largest word in a string is trouble okay so because it is having the length 7 okay so i go, i am going to print the output as trouble which is of the length 7 okay so this is the largest word okay so i think that everybody understood the question so let's uh, move into the coding section so actually actually the coding is very simple so let's move into the coding section okay so guys finally we are entering into the coding session so in this coding session i will be using java as my programming language and i am using visual studio code as my code editor so guys we are going to begin the coding so guys uh, this is our question so this uh, this is a question that we are going to solve in today's video so the question is all about uh, find the largest word in a string okay so the question is all about the find to find the largest word in a string the largest word is trouble because it is having the length 7 okay so i think that everybody understood the question so we are going to begin the coding so the logic is very easy so i will be explaining you the coding okay so i will be creating a new file name called pp.java okay so I will be uh, creating a new class, new ca class called PP. Okay. So then I will be create initializing a main method. One minute. Okay. Then I will be putting scanner SD equal to new scanner of system dot in. Okay. Then I will be importing this scanner class. Okay. Then I will be buying the string input from the user sc dot next line okay so i will be buying the string input from the user and then i will be initializing the null value okay one minute okay then i will be putting uh, yes i will be converting the user input uh, string value into a array okay in the form of an array so i will be putting string uh, array symbol str array equals str dot split oh sorry split okay so uh, i'll be explaining you this statement okay if you don't understand don't worry i'll be explaining you separately okay so what's up to last okay so then i'll be putting 4 in the equal to 0 i less than str array dot length i plus plus if str array of i dot length is greater than largest string dot length oh on, sorry sorry dot length so uh, remember that for integer <coughs> we are not putting this param parameters okay so for string only we are putting this parameter okay so for integer we are not putting this parameter so this may cause error okay sometimes so remember that for integer only we are not putting for the for string we want to compulsory put okay so we are going to inside inside after putting this condition we are putting a, <coughs> a statement that largest string equals to str array of i okay the largest string equal to str array of i okay so then after that i'll be putting a sprint okay one minute
okay so uh, i'll be explaining you this coding okay so if you don't understand don't worry i'll be explaining you okay so firstly i'll be buying an input string input from the user i'll be buying uh, hey uh, ha have you are uh, hey are you having any trouble okay so i will be buying this particular string input from the user okay so after buying the string input i will be putting this uh, str array str array equal to str dot split of this double quotes okay so what does what does it mean means uh, i'll be explaining you so it will be inside the curly braces i will be putting a comma r comma u comma having comma any comma trouble okay so this statement will be converting this words into this one this array okay this will be uh, transforming it into this array okay so i will uh, so, uh, spot the index so the index is uh, like this 0 1 okay the this is a uh, sorry sorry this is a zeroth index this is a zeroth index one minute this is a zeroth index this is a first index this is a second index this is a third index this is a fourth index and this is a fifth index okay this is having the length 6 okay str dot length is 6 okay don't forget it okay str dot length is 6 okay so this is this uh, this is having the length so str dot str array okay sorry str array dot length is 6 okay so don't forget it str array dot length is 6 and then it is uh, it is converted into an array it is in the form of an array okay so then i will be initializing a for initializing a for loop and inside that for loop i will be putting a i will be putting initializing as zero first one zero and then str dot array str array of dot length and then increment okay so then i will be explaining you what is this so int i equal to zero i equal to int i equal to zero i in the first one int i equal to zero oh sorry int i equal to zero i less than str array dot length str array dot length is six right so zero less than six so condition is true then coming inside str array of zero dot length zero dot length is three right str array dot length str array of i dot length is three Uh, the str array of i is a right a dot length is 3 right so 3 is greater than largest string dot length largest string is my largest string is null so null value dot length is 0 so 3 is greater than 0 right so 3 is greater than 0 so my largest string will be now a okay my largest string will be now a so this is this i is 0 so first one is uh, my uh, largest string will be hey so my condition will be my i will be incremented to 1 okay my i will be incremented to 1 and then i less than 6 i less than 6 and then it will be coming inside and str array of 1 uh, dot length str array of 1 dot length is r 1 uh, dot length is 3 right so 3 is greater than this hey hey is having the length 3 right so 3 is greater than 3 or not no so 3 is greater not greater than 3 so condition is false then it will be the i will be incremented to 2 i will be incremented to 2 and then 2 less than 6 2 less than 6 right so condition is true so str array of 2 dot length so 2 dot length is uh, 3 uh, 3 right so u is, ha- u is having the length 3 right so 3 greater than largest string dot length largest string is uh, a right a dot length is 3 so 3 is greater than 3 condition false so then it will be coming uh, here so the i will be incremented to 3 so str array uh, i 3 is greater less than 6 right so condition is true then str array of 3 is uh, str array of 3 is uh, having right so having dot length is 6 right so yes having is having the length 6 okay so 6 greater than largest string dot length largest string is here here is having the length 3 right so 6 is uh, greater than 3 so condition is true largest string equal to str array of i so condi- uh, it is having okay so the largest string is now having okay so it is because it is having the length 6 okay so among these having is uh, bigger okay so then uh, i i will be incremented i will be incremented to 4 
okay so for str uh, it is the condition is true then it will be coming inside and str array of 4 str array of 4 dot length str array of 4 dot length is this one this uh, any is str array of 4 this is having the length 3 so 3 is greater than largest string largest string is having right so 3 is greater than 6 so condition is false so 3 is less than 6 so condi condition is for 3 is less than 6 right so 3 is not greater than 6 so 3 is uh, greater than 6 condition is false so it will be incremented to 5 so i is incremented to 5 and then uh, here str array of 5 dot length str array of 5 5 is trouble trouble dot length is 7 right so 7 is greater than largest string largest string is having right having dot length is uh, 6 right so str dot array of uh, i dot length so 7 greater than 6 so 7 greater than 6 condition is true so my largest string will be trouble because it is having the length 7 right 7 is greater than largest string earlier the largest string was having having is having the length uh, 6 so 7 is greater than 6 so this uh, la 7 this 7 is greater than 6 so largest string equal to trouble okay so the largest string equal to trouble so then uh, the condition will be uh, exit okay so up to 5 only so then the condition uh, uh, actually I explain so I will be incremented and 6 uh, I will be incremented to 6 and 6 less than 6 so condition is false then the for loop is exited and then it will be printing the largest string so my largest string is trouble okay so i think that everybody understood the logic so if you don't understood the logic do post it in the comment box i will be surely responding you okay so if you don't understood it so guys this is a coding so this much is so uh, this much is only the coding so this is very very easy so this is very very important too so through this str the split this is very very important because it is through this many questions are asked so you can uh, you are having suppose they will be asking the question like uh, in this for the odd odd index so odd index means uh, the number odd is uh, 3 uh, so 1 3 and 5 right so you want to print r having and trouble so you want to print r having and trouble so okay so the uh, that means they will be giving this question like this and then you want to print only r having and trouble because this is in the in this is in the odd index this is in the first index third index and 15 days so 1 3 and 5 are odd right so they will be asking you like that so uh, th this str dot split this is very very important okay so uh, do uh, practice it and do do a lo lot more questions so guys this much is my coding of this particular uh, question so my output will be trouble so let me move into the output session and i will be showing you the output okay so guys finally we are entering into the output session so in this output session i will be showing the output of my particular code so i think that everybody understood the code as well as my question so my question is to find the largest word in a string so i think that everybody understood the what is the logic that apply in the code so if you don't understand it don't worry guys uh, you take a notebook and uh, apply my logic apply go through my code and apply the logic you can be able to predict what is the logic of my particular code so i think that majority of you uh, can be able to analyze what logic I, that i put so i am going to compile my code so i am putting java c file name file name is pp dot java okay then i will be putting java pp okay so i am going to copy paste my string input so this is my string input okay so uh, among this uh, among this the trouble is having the highest length highest length this uh, word trouble is having the highest length so among this uh, hello hello how uh, hello uh, hey hello you are having any so among these uh, words the trouble is having the highest length okay so uh, trouble is printing as my output okay so let me check it out see the trouble is printing out the output so trouble is having the length 7 among this the trouble is having the highest length so 
trouble is my output okay so i think so guys i think that they will be understood what uh, logic I, that i put so guys keep on practicing it and uh, don't worry guys it's very very simple so it's a small logic people think that it is very difficult so don't worry guys so uh, the best way, way thing is to do is take a notebook and uh, apply the code logic okay so uh, by practicing it uh, and working daily and daily the, so that you can be able to practice even more and more questions okay so it is very important that uh, do practice daily and daily okay so that you can be able to practice uh, new and new problems very simpler and very uh, easier okay so do practice daily and daily guys so thank you for watching my video guys do if you like it do watch and do subscribe and do share with your friends guys so we'll be meeting you in the next video with a new code so till then tata bye bye see you and thank you guys